Howdy, howdy. My name's John, and today I'm going to do my first end-of-the-week reading vlog. I originally started this channel to do book reviews, but it, I, it's kind of awkward for me to be in front of a camera, so I thought, you know, maybe reviewing the books that I've read this week uh, may you know, give me some practice. And uh, as I was researching uh, on... Uh, all of the startup. I actually stopped reading there for a while, but uh, bought some books and I got some that I was excited to pick up, so I went ahead and picked those up. And uh, so I just want to talk about what I've read this week. First, I started Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Uh, not very far into this book yet, but uh, I can tell that this is going to be a meaningful read for me. He's got a very good writing style, of course, and really the first, uh, most of what I've read are just, there's two forwards to this edition, and that's mostly what I've gotten through, although I have, I'm about eight pages into the book itself, so I read nonfiction a lot slower than I read fiction, so it may take me a while to get through this book, but uh, I, I can already tell just by his writing style that uh, this is going to be a meaningful read. This week I finished Five Portraits, which is the 39th book in the Xanth series. Um, the thing about Xanth is, is if you've ever, whenever you come home from either a long day at work or you've been on vacation and you come home, you just have that feeling that, you know, hey, I'm home. And that's what Xanth is for me. Like, uh, I've, I've been reading these novels for a long time. But I did take a long break where I didn't read any of them. And, so, and it's been a while since I finished uh, Bored Stiff, which is the uh, one right before this. Five Portraits is a direct sequel to uh, Bored Stiff, which is kind of rare in, in a Xanth novel. Normally they, they follow completely different uh, uh, sets of adventures, but... Uh, this one uh, has a different main character than uh, Board uh, Stiff. Board Stiff covered Candy. This one covers Astrid. And here again, it's you know, it's not necessarily a groundbreaking book. It's but it's an enjoyable read. So uh, I'm going to give this one four stars. Then I've started on uh, Isis Orb, which is the next book in the Zant series, and. Uh, one of the uh, criticisms of Xanth is that it's formulaic. The Xanth books do have a bit of a formula to them. The main character has a life problem, decides to go to see the good magician Humphrey. The main character has to solve three challenges to get to the uh, good magician. Humphrey then gives the, uh, a, uh, the main character a cryptic answer and then sends the main character on a quest to save Xanth. Uh, Anthony has an interesting counter-argument, which I'm going to uh, read from right quick. Humphrey agreed. My answer is always cryptic, but worthwhile. This is ridiculous, ha hapless sputter. It's a trite formula. Some oaf comes with a stupid question, gets a stupider answer, then has to serve some complicated quest that completely messes up his life. Why should I get into anything like that? My life is already frustrating enough. Because formulas exist for an excellent reason. They work. You have no life to speak of. Only by following this formula will you achieve your three life ambitions. So here again, that's part of uh, Anthony's humor. So, uh, here again, I know, I know the Xanth novels aren't for everyone. I forgot to mention this while filming, but I also wanted to share in this vlog my other hobby, which is tending to my mother's flowers. Pictured is a sample of what is blooming this week.
anyway, that's what I've read this week. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.